Don't you just love it, Graham? It is the colour of spring. Sun gold waddle, Joe. It's nature circuit breaker. Comes in a bloom, bingo, the season starts. Yep. Look, we're at one of my absolute favourite places in the world. This is the Australian Botanic Gardens at Mount Allen. I love hearing you and you're this passionate. And to kick off our walk around, we're looking at our national floral emblem, the wonderful wattle. Did you know we have almost a thousand different species? But I'm going to show you my favourites. Look at this one. Look at these little rod-like flowers. I just love them. And these are not leaves. What? They look exactly like leaves. They do, and they perform like leaves. These are actually the base of the leaf that's stretched out to look and work like a leaf. So why is that? Is that just protected, give a bit of protection, is it? Yeah, in drought in particular. So, you know, the prolonged droughts that Australia gets, this one will survive and will always bounce back. I love these rod-like flowers. They're beautiful. They kind of look like a really long toilet brush. <laughs> <laughs> it's really probably not the, the nicest do. thing to think of when I look at Waddle. No, but they are different. <laughs> now, look at this one over here, because it's different again. Sorry, Waddle Tree. Wow, this is cool. You like it? Yeah, it feels unbelievably yeah, soft. It is. It's just like down. It is a really soft Waddle. And notice how the flowers are inside? Yeah. That's so that any birds or heat, stress, the flowers, of course, are the beginning of the seed, so the plant actually protects its next generation. Wow, that's very clever. It's like an inside-out plant. <laughs> it, well, it is a bit like it is. It actually comes from Western Australia. This is actually Acacia gannettii. It comes from around Geraldton, saw very poor, loves the sand. In heavy clay, you must have good drainage. OK, so if I had great drainage, I could actually have this in my garden. Yeah, and in fact, it's also rare. Oh, wow. And it's endangered. So, Graham, this is kind of more traditional to what I thought yeah, the wattle flower is like. Well, traditional wattle and traditional leaves yeah. and, and flowers. See, these little finely cut leaves, a bit like a jacaranda leaf, yeah. that's the traditional and the true leaf. And the reason it's doing so well, it's really happy here. Yeah. And, and it's sometimes called downy wattle because of, look at that, isn't it soft? Just so oh, delicate. Wow. It's gorgeous. It's not hugely long lived. Some of them are, though. Graham, I love this one. Isn't it cute? It looks prickly, but in fact, it's soft and delicate. And it's evolved out in the desert, again, to keep alive in drought. But notice how the flowers are all the way down the stem? Yeah. So it's quite different from the other ones that we've looked at. And over there is the Cootamundra wattle, now, but it's the purple version, purple leaves. Oh, wow. It hasn't started to flower yet, and there's a ground cover version of that as well. It literally spills and cascades down an embankment. They're fantastic. They vary enormously. They often call these nurse trees, because yeah. in a garden or landscape, you put in a couple of eucalypt you know, seedlings, and while they're growing and growing, the, the wattles protect them, yep. just like nurses do. And then eventually the wattle dies and the gum takes over. Yep. But some of them live for 60, 70 years, so you've got to be careful which one you choose. <laughs> you should definitely choose the right one. Yeah. These are actually wattles. Really? Yeah, these are wattles. See the little, See the little flowers? flowers? Now, it's actually grown for its foliage as much as anything else. In some climates they'll flower and others they won't. I, I just can't get over the difference even in the colour of the foliage of all of them. Yep, blue, green, grey, and lime green. Brilliant. Along with wattles, there's also plenty of other fabulous natives. Now, Graham, I'm off to the bank. This is not a bank where you take your money out, but it's all about actually protecting plants for the future. Sounds very intriguing, Joe. I have a real surprise to show you later. It's one of the biggest attractions here at Mount Annan. And in fact, it's about to show its face to the sun, and you'll be the first to see it. You're a man of mystery, aren't you? <laughs>